What's up everybody? So today we're gonna be working on the Civic again. I figured today's the day. Let's go ahead and get this dash out of the car. So as you guys can see here, we do have everything out of the car now. Um, last video you guys saw, we got the carpet all out and cleaned up. I think the dash shouldn't be too bad. Definitely need help. That's why we got Luke over there. So he'll be able to help do that. Now, as far as the last stuff that we just did, we did the carpet and everything, as you guys can see here. It's all dried, it's all clean. It actually looks pretty good. It's a lot better shape than what I thought it was going to be. Now, as far as like the seats and everything go, we ended up renting that Rug Doctor, which honestly, that Rug Doctor wasn't that great. I prefer to have like a professional grade, like carpet extractor or something, I think would have done a better job. But got these seats cleaned up. They're not perfect, but they'll work. I know there's like still a bunch of dirt and stuff in there. I had to go back after they dried and re-vacuum them re-vacuum them and uh, they seem to be a lot better and then as far as like the back seats go I have them sitting over here as of right now they are cleaned up but they're definitely gonna need to be sprayed or re-dyed just because of how bad the sun fade is on them so I guess we're gonna go ahead and jump into it right now and uh, start doing this dash pull I figured we'll go ahead and do like kind of a step-by-step -step, show you guys how to do that and then once that's all done we can go and get on to the next project all right so the first thing we gotta do is pop off this little cover here Hopefully I can get this underneath here. There we go. So now you guys can see like the couple of screws that we have to take out. I'm not gonna take them out just yet, but we'll have to do the same thing on the other side. And then I think next we'll be getting out these dash vents. So let's go ahead and hop out, hop over to the other side and uh, get the dash vents out. All right, so for these dash vents, I think you just, grab right there at the base and it should slide out and we have more dog food in there dude, nice. Good what treat. the heck Quick dude treat. that's disgusting okay so we'll go ahead and take out the passenger side next and uh, maybe there's some more goodies back behind there and nothing's behind oh, there man no more treats it's definitely dusty though okay so we went ahead we got these dash vents and uh this piece here, I wasn't sure how this came out, but it just popped out. You just push on it forward here and the whole thing just drops. So that opens up this tray underneath here. Um, the next thing we need to do is get this glove box out. So it's got these couple of tabs inside here, you guys can see. One on each side, you have to loosen those. I'll show you guys here in a second. And then there's two, um, I believe, Phillips screws underneath there, or just like small eight millimeter bolts. So we'll get those out and then we can get the glove box to come out of the way. All right, so the two bolts that are underneath the dash, which I don't know if you guys can see it well enough or not, is right there. So there's this yeah. one, and then there's one right there. They are both eight millimeter, so we'll get those out. And then like I said, inside the glove box here is these couple tabs. So let's uh, try to get this out. So on this, look over here on this side, see these two little plastic pieces? Basically all you have to do, keep it over there, just kind of push them in from the back. And then that comes up and then that's out now. So we'll do the same thing to this side. Oh, there we go. So now that's out. So now everything else here is exposed. You can see these couple bolts here that we need to access to get the dash out and uh, we'll go to the next step. Okay, so now that the glove box is out, it looks like I said here, like we have these couple bolts here, but I think there's supposed to be like another one right here, but as you can see, this dash has been cut. So it still works. I'm not sure why the previous owner cut it out. I don't know if they had to access something back here, but uh, we're gonna keep going on this. Um, I believe the next step that we need to do is this latch up here. You guys can see right there, there should be like three screws up there. And then we have to unhook the airbag and uh, I'm not sure if there's any other wiring harnesses to get to and like I said as far as the airbag goes make sure you guys have disconnected the battery so that doesn't go off in our case it should be good because we already disconnected it so I guess let's see if we can get anything else out of here so you guys can see here hopefully I went ahead disconnected the airbag here now according to what we've been reading online it's like a forum thing that kind of has like a documentation of all this it's just written copy rather than what we're doing we're trying to video it but uh it says that we need to disconnect or unbolt those three bolts right there that are connected to the airbag i'm not sure if that's like connected to the dash some way or if it's just in the way but i figure we're gonna go ahead and take that off 
Hopefully I wasn't just covering the mic there. Hope you guys can still hear me. But we're going to take those out and uh, see what that does. And I went ahead. I took these bolts out here and also took the ones out from these triangle pieces on that side as well. Um, yeah, so we're going to keep on going. Now, in our case, we already have like the center console and seats and everything out. So it makes things a little bit easier on our whatever what we're doing here. So after those are out, you can see here that we have to get these bolts out there as well as what's underneath the radio. So we'll go and do that after we get this out. All right, so now those three 10 millimeter bolts or nuts are out. So we should be able to just push it up. From what I understand, I can't really see here. Hopefully you guys can see, but it's supposed to push up. And I think what it's supposed to do is lift it up out of the dash. So maybe Luke can film this or we can do it together. It definitely looks like it helps to have a person or a friend to help yeah. you out. So uh, I don't know, we're gonna try to- We could set it somewhere maybe. Put the camera somewhere. Yeah, we'll we see, we'll see if we can set you guys up somewhere. Okay, so I got those threads to push up through there. Luke was able to grab it, and you can see here that it does press out. So you should be able just to lift it up and out. Maybe. You might have to tip it. Yeah, don't I don't want to. I don't want to pinch it against the. Are you holding the camera here? Let me see if I can maneuver it. is hooked so good we're out now that was probably hopefully that was like the worst thing to do but that really sucks it probably isn't too bad for you guys because you guys will probably still have carpet here and everything you can get underneath here and like i said this car is pretty gross yeah. so glad that's out now so go ahead and go on to the next part which i think is steering wheel all right all right so like i said next we're gonna take out the steering wheel um this is all gonna get out of the way same thing with like these socks yeah, the levers on both sides, the windshield washers, wipers, headlights, and all that stuff. But it looks like starting out, I'm going to have to take out this screw right there. And it's a Torx. And I think it is. I got it set up here. A T30 Torx. So we'll go ahead and try to get those out. I think there might be is there just, just one on this side, side or two. Uh, there's one on each side. So we'll get those out now. One on the bottom. What's out? So now this airbag should be able to come out. I got those two screws out like you guys just saw. Um, on these, you may need to use like a magnetic tool so it can hook on it so it doesn't fall inside. But managed to get those out and the airbag just comes out now. Now then comes the uh, airbag, whatever, clip. clip, just like that. So not too bad. They do kind of suck to get loose. So now that that's off, we can go ahead and uh, I believe take the steering wheel off next. I'm not sure what size it is, so I gotta check, but uh, we'll come back just a second. So it looks like this bolt here is a 19 millimeter. We went ahead, broke it loose, so now it spins freely. Just use a breaker bar and Luke was able to hold it down. Um, if you're able to, go ahead, lock the steering wheel in place so it doesn't move, but it's not too big of a deal. So next thing's up, we need to remove the, uh, I think this is the horn, and this is cruise control over here, so we gotta disconnect those plugs, and then basically just pound on the steering wheel back and forth until it comes loose. We're gonna go ahead and back this out just a little bit farther, that we have some more room to give it, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. So I got those out of the way, the thread is backed out far enough. Really? There it is. Okay, so steering wheel is broke loose now. Um, I guess before any of you guys actually do this, make sure your steering wheels are straight because uh, this will alter your alignment and stuff. In our case, I don't really care because I'm just taking the dash. It's just a parts car, so it doesn't matter for me. So now that that's out, all you got to do is just unthread it the rest of the way. Get these cords out of here. And now that's out. So next up, we can go ahead and start moving the steering column pieces and uh, keep going. So now the steering wheel's out, it looks like our next step to do is there's one screw here, one screw here, and one back there. They're all Phillips, so this should come out. Um, according to like the instructions that we've read on this so far, it looks like there's supposed to be two other pieces, but we took them out previously when we already did everything. So there's like this lower section here, and then there's one down here by the pedals. We already have those out, so we're free already of that. Otherwise, it's just held on by some plastic clips. You just pull them and it comes down. So we'll go ahead and get these screws out, and then once those are out, it should release these two plastic pieces here. All right, so I think I got all the screws out. There's one back here, it's still kind of just sitting there, but it seems to be loose. You don't have to film down okay. there. But uh, 
I believe we should just be able to pry this loose here. And uh, we'll use this pry tool here without breaking it. Oh, you know what? Might help if we lowered it down. Is that all the room it goes? So there's the top half. That sounds horrible when that pops. Yeah. I'm gonna slide it past that. That's gross. You can see there's more dog food or something <laughs> inside there. So now that that's out, I think the next thing is the gauges. And I believe the gauges are just held on by these couple screws here and then whatever wiring's back there. So uh, we'll go ahead and mess with that next. Oh, you know what? I think it's actually, we gotta get these out. These have to be out of the way. So we'll get those out next. All right, so in order to get like these, uh, what are they called, combination switches off, which I've already got mine unhooked and done, you have to, there's a couple wiring harnesses that come up to the back side here. And what I found is if you push on the clip on the top here and then take your pry tool and it'll just push it back. And then there's one screw. Let me see the camera. There's just one screw right there. It does not come out all the way. It just loosens up. And when it loosens up, it's just enough. So this whole assembly just slides off. So then that's out of the way. So when we go to pull the dash out, it doesn't like, it won't get in the way and break any of those arms off. Now I know we probably won't need those just because the other car has them, but I figure we might as well keep them nice and safe. So now we move on to the gauges. It looks like there's just two screws here and we'll take those out and this whole thing should pop forward. And uh, well, at least this, this uh, trim piece here will come out. And there should be a couple back behind there to get that all out. So managed to get those two screws out, as you can see there. Let's throw those on the floorboards for now. And then this should just be able to grab, not break it. It should just slide forward, I think. Maybe. All right, well, I'm gonna keep messing with this. Hopefully I can pop it out. All right. Yep. So we managed to get this piece out. This is a pain in the butt. You have to like grab at the top, pull it, and it's got these clips here on the back side that need to come straight forward. What I ended up doing was just taking a pry tool and just kind of wedging it underneath here and lifting up. That way it gives enough clearance because it's kind of hooking on the dash over here or like on these edges. There's like a little bit of a, uh, a divot where it sets. So managed to pop that out. That really sucked. Next up, we've got to get the gauges out. It looks like there's a screw up there and then two down here and then that should just come forward and there should be like a wiring harness we'll have to unclip. So let's try to get that out next. So then all we gotta do, disconnect this and this. And it should come out. This is probably the cleanest part of the entire car. Yeah. So the fact these don't wanna come out. So there's the gauges. So now that we have this gauge cluster out, we can move on to the next thing. And according to what it looks like, the next thing to do in order is to go ahead and take out this, whatever, ashtray coin holder thing. And I believe there's just one screw back there that's gotta come out and we can disconnect the wiring harness for the crew, sunroof, mirror, all that stuff from the backside and get that out. So let's try to uh, get that one out next. Okay, so we got those out. The easiest thing I could see to do was basically just reach your hand from the backside and push these out until these came forward and then you're able to disconnect them. Otherwise, you can't get your hand in there. So now that that's separate, we can go ahead and move this wiring harness so it's out of the way. So when we do pull the dash, it's not into anything. And we should be able to leave this piece here, I believe. And it should all just come with the dash because that all looks loose for now. Um, next thing we need to do is the radio trim. And in our case, we already have the center console and stuff all out of here, so we don't have to worry about that. So you can see here, like for the dash and stuff, it is these two bolts here. And then I believe there should be like a couple of screws up in here. Once those are loose, this whole trim piece will come out and then we can disconnect everything from here as far as like the air conditioning and everything, the radio, all that. 
So now you guys can see here, we ended up taking out this centerpiece where the radio and AC controls are. Um, if you guys have watched my videos before when we did the radio and the red Civic, you would have seen, me how to, seen how to do this before. But basically there's two screws when you come up from the back side here, take those out and then it exposes this. And all you have to do is take a pry tool, work your way around and break it loose of all these clips. Um, it is kind of challenging because it is in there tight. And then you just have to basically unclip everything as far as like uh, AC stuff goes and the radio. This one had been messed with. The kid had put a aftermarket head unit in. As you can see there, it had like XM radio and subwoofer wires and stuff. So we had a little bit more of a mess than what you guys might have. Next up, as far as getting this dash out, there's a screw here it needs to come out. One right there, one here, and then there's some that are like tucked up behind here. So if you guys look, this little piece here, it's on the back side. There's one there, there is one back behind this side, as well as over here. So there's, what is that? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven of them or eight of them? I think so. So once those are out, this whole dash piece should be able to come out because like I said, we've already basically gone through and gotten everything out. We already took out the center console. Beforehand, we took the interior out and we took out the A pillars. So this should be the end for us. And then this whole dash should be able to come out. So. I'm going to go ahead and try to get these out. I don't know if you'll be able to show you the ones on the back side, but I should be able to get the ones on the front side. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and try to get these out. And then a quick tip for these areas here, you're going to need something like this, like a smaller screwdriver to get in here just because they are in such weird positions. So basically get the wiring harness out of the way and you should be able to just get to the back side, which it's kind of sucks. But uh, we're gonna try to get that out. So we'll come back after we get them out. Okay, so I managed to get those screws out that were back behind here. They are oh, right there. They are a pain in the butt to get out. They absolutely suck, but once you get your hand maneuvered in there, it works. I ended up using this little guy for most of it, but then I had to fit, fit in this like stubby one to get behind there. So we're able to get that out. The dash, I think, loose. looks loose to me. So we're gonna try to set you guys up somewhere and uh, Get this thing out. So we finally managed to get the dash out. The only thing that we had where it hung up was there's like right here, this one tab down below. There was a screw that was still in place. But once we got that loose, everything popped out. So now we can go ahead and show you here what the dash looks like that's out of the car. And uh, I'm super excited to have this out. It's definitely gonna need a good scrumming, scrubbing. It's gonna take some time to get it nice and cleaned up. Um, all those little pieces that we just pulled out of the car, like the gauges, the trim pieces, like these lower sections here. I mean, you can just see how like gross and disgusting. Tiny. I've got one on the floor down there. Gauge clusters. I need to figure out if there's some way to get this cleaned up. We may have to like polish this or buff it, try to get the scratches out of it. So I think we're gonna reuse this in the other car just because I like the way this looks and it is for the, uh, the manual transmission so it doesn't have like the Prindle pre -R -N -D -L -E yeah. thing on there. And we have all these other pieces here, airbag trim, all that needs to get cleaned up. So <laughs> we're gonna have fun doing that. I know you're already sick of that. Again. <laughs> we already did a whole bunch of clean on everything. So now it's even more stuff to do, but I don't think it'll be too bad. As far as the next video goes, now that we have all this stuff out, I figure we're gonna go ahead and do the seats next. So stay tuned for that. We need to re-dye those. And then once that's all done, I guess. Swap, oh, headliner. Well, we're gonna need to tear out the interior of the red car. So we'll tear so out the tear interior down. and move on from there. So stay tuned for that. But otherwise, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.